but let's get into that that Clyde comment. Um, J. Ellis. <laughs> my, bo my blood got boiling, J. Ellis. My blood oh, got my to God. boiling, man. You know what I mean? Uh, For those of you that missed it, um, it was during the, the Knicks and Lakers game where uh, I believe there's a timeout. LeBron had checked out of the game, and um, Clyde had made some comments about it. So let's uh, let's get to the Clyde comment right now. Hang on a second. Here we go. About LeBron sneakers, Clyde. Yep, fit for a king. Yeah, the, the laces and everything, but this type of behavior is not... When you're, you're the face of the NBA, I, I think you should be more a part of your team, folks. No matter what is going on, on the, on the, in, the, in the public, you've got to be a part of the team. Maybe in the locker room, you're not, but you have to exude that type of togetherness in public, folks. And right now, we see he doesn't really care. So that's why this man is rumored to be, this is his last season as the Laker coach. All right. So we, so we got that part from Clyde, J. Ellis. Now, on, on that part, listen, I love Clyde. I got to disagree with him here. You know what I mean? Respectfully, because he's a legend. I just think, I think the, the whole, I think Le, the LeBron, I'm not, a, I'm not a LeBron apologizer, sympathizer, whatever. I just think, you know, the criticism of LeBron this year has been unwarranted. I think we're looking to, 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 to pick at anything. You know what I mean? When it, when it comes to him, I think we need to respect the fact that he's played in so many finals appearances. He's played a lot of basketball over time. He, he's had immediate impact and immediate success on teams. Uh, and you can't have that if, if you're not a team guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I respectfully yeah. disagree with you, CP. Okay. I'm going to say this. I understand that the, that the fact that LeBron sat on the other end of the bench might have been overblown. Uh, shout out to Kenyon Martin. He kind of explained that to me mm -hmm. or to, to the world that, you know what, that's his seat. And sometimes you sit down when the play doesn't have anything to do with you. You'll sit down and and rest if the play that's being drawn up has nothing to do with you because you know you're being taken up again. So yeah. I understand that. Yes. But let's not, you know, let's not pretend like this narrative that LeBron hasn't been kind of uh, engaged this season is a new thing. Like that's not Fraser is not the first person to say that. He seemed like he, to me, he seemed like Rodon has checked out ever since after the All Star game, and after after the, the trade deadline didn't go the way he wanted it to, and people have been seeing it. He's not the everybody's been seeing he's not playing the defense he's, he's used to be playing. Yeah, but he's got to be. Yo, he's got to pace himself, man. He got to pace. I mean, listen, I, it may not send a good message to the team, but I feel like at the same time, he he is part a, a big part of the team. You got to pace yourself a little bit too, man. I feel you, but at the same time, it's like the, the dude is already talking about next season. <laughs> Yo. In interviews. Yes. Okay. In interviews. I, I hear I, that. I, I'm not doing that. He's doing that. I hear so that. to tell me he's not thinking about next season, he's he he's thinking about he's not thinking about this season. He doesn't he literally doesn't care about the season, just like Clyde said. So even though that simple moment, you know, that one moment doesn't mean he doesn't care. Yeah. He really doesn't care about the rest of this season now, and now all these media personalities are running with, are running with the fact that oh, LeBron James, he how dare he disrespect John James because he cared, he cares, he's he's won championships. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man! Like, let's let's not be simple minded. Mm -hmm. We already we know everybody knows that LeBron James cares. All right. Okay. Everybody. I mean, that's why. Right. Like, listen, I I think he he cares. But at the end of the day, yeah, the season is lost, man. Yeah, the season is lost. The season is lost, and he doesn't care anymore. Is that it? so? If, if, if Clyde said he doesn't care anymore, well, then they wouldn't roast him because he doesn't care anymore. Everybody sees it. He's not wrong. Yeah, but I, I can't. You know, Clive just makes it seem like you know he, he's just all about him and not the team, and I, I don't, I don't see that being the case, man. Because a lot of these guys, they fall in line behind him, man. He's a leader, whether you like him or not. Yeah, but then they also kind of is also a, a little a sting there from him trying to you know trade them 
<laughs> well, well, and then yeah. and then not playing defense and yelling at them to play defense. So it's kind of there's a little friction there. Yeah, now that's a good point. That the whole trade thing got to make things awkward as hell for the whole team. Yeah, and then on top of that, there's people's leaked to the media that they're gonna trade the coach. Yeah. Well, so, well, that was uh, that that was the whole Rich Paul thing. They 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 co- completely misplayed their hand with the, from the whole Anthony Davis thing on down, and pretty much embarrassed the whole organization. Man, that was embarrassing, bro. So again, it's, it's playing to the narrative that LeBron does not care about the rest of this season. Not that he doesn't care about basketball at all, but he really doesn't care about the rest of this season. And that's what to me, that's what Clyde was really saying, even though he didn't say. This season, everybody's crucifying him now because it's the Knicks, and they don't want to talk about just LeBron getting blocked by Mario Zonk. That's how I see it. I mean, listen, I, I hear that. Um, maybe it's me being an apologist. Maybe I'm guilty of it. But I just don't see, you know, how you can really complain about a guy who's going to seven, eight straight finals, bro. Maybe he just doesn't know how to act in this situation where he's got nothing to play for. You know what I mean? Yet, yeah, yet mean, still I mean, carrying that team effortlessly. And he's credit for that, but this season he isn't doing it. Okay. And he's, he hasn't. Listen, he's, he's a great player. He's mm-hmm. done well for himself. He's won championships. You can't take that away from him. This is new to him, but it is what it is. He's not. He's not leading these guys the way he's leading other, other players in, in other seasons. Yeah. Maybe he'll do better next season, but this season he wavered in that respect. That's all I gotta say. And Steven Jackson, man. All right, so 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 let me play the Steven Jackson clip because oh, now Steven Jackson now um that decided to throw his hat into into the debate and um had some had some real disrespectful comments against Clyde. So let's get to it right here. Basically saying because of that, this guy's not going to be around anymore. Steven, what was your reaction to Clyde's comments? Saying that LeBron is not with the team, that he doesn't care anymore. First of all, Walt, nobody cares about your suits. Nobody cares about your mustache, your haircut, or anything. I was was born in 78. I don't know too much about you. (laughs) This generation don't know too much about you. I'm sorry, bro. You, You way out of line. I mean... Anytime a team is losing, anytime LeBron losing, everything is magnified. Yep. He always sits at the, end, at the end of the bench. And if anybody on that team is coming out and saying he's a, he's a bad teammate or we don't want to play with him, no. Walt, you way out of line. You need to worry about getting, your, getting up to date with your suits and stop worrying about what LeBron doing. Here- All right. So that, so that was uh, that was Steven Jackson, man. Ah. Um and, and and this dude Nick Wright, man, I don't watch that show to be honest. I don't I don't listen to Nick Wright. I haven't heard a thing that Nick Wright says. Um, he, he annoys me. Just looking at him annoys me. He, he just looks like I don't know. He, he just looks like a clown, man. He's just sitting there laughing like, who is Stephen Jackson to be talking Who's about Clyde that, about man? this, man? Who's mad? Who? Nobody knows you, though. Nobody know. Like he said, no, I don't know anything about Clyde. Come on, Jay Ellis, man. I'm, I'm trying to forget you, to be honest with you. Okay, come, come on, Jay Ellis, man. <laughs> I'm trying to forget you, man. That, that was so disrespectful, man. You, you know, here, here's my problem. Here's my problem with this, Jay Ellis. You, you have a professional basketball player in Steven Jackson. And I like Steven Jackson. I like, I like, he had a good career. You know, he's, when I, when I think about my prototypical basketball player, like who's, you know, the non-superstar caliber, it would be a guy in like Steven Jackson's, Type, you know, what I mean, a lunch pail, defender, shoots yeah. three well, tough, you know what I mean, gritty. That's my type of basketball. That that's what we were raised on in the nineties. You know, I, I like that Stephen Jackson type. But from to me, when you come on these shows, these shows now, whether it's Skip and Shannon, first take with Max Kellerman who does his foolery all the time, and and now Stephen Jackson who. It's, you could tell he's trying to promote his platform, but it's like JLs. These guys just come with these extremely ignorant and ridiculous takes that they're trying so desperately to get attention. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't understand how you've been passed around the league like the cheap, you know. And you're gonna talk to that. You're gonna talk like that to a guy who's a four-time All-Star, top on, fifty player, JLs in My any God. generation. 
<laughs> Clyde Frazier. It's a top Bro, 50 a player, psychic, man. Psychic, dog. He was a psychic, psychic, Co- psychic. Come on, Warped man. Or... Come on, though. You going to talk to Warp Clyde Frazier like that? Come like on, you? man. It's so desperate Who's that he man? went on TV. And then he started talking about Clyde suits and his haircut. Did you see what Steven Jackson was looking like on this show, no. bro? Just because you got a blazer <laughs> on doesn't cover up the fact that your red shirt is trash. Oh, my God, bro. Dude didn't even make an all-star team, J. Ellis. That blazer don't cover everything, dog. Come, come on, stop, man. Stop that. Come on, stop man. Stop it, for real. <laughs> like, who's man? Get, 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 get your man. And no play for good. Yo, no play. Yo, Clyde, get him some, some just for men. Tighten up. The yeah, table. right. Facts, facts. <laughs> He said nobody cares about your suits. If nobody cared, why is that the first thing coming out your mouth? Obviously, that's a staple of Clyde. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Get him out of here. The, the, this is this is a legend we talking about here. He's gonna get traded again. He's no, gonna get traded again, CP. Nobody, no. Yeah, he gotta get traded again. <laughs> get traded again. I bet. He, he gotta get traded again, man. That's you know, fact. nobody knows about Clyde. Nobody. I mean, do some research. If you love the game, we don't know about Clyde. We didn't see Clyde. Come on, man. My man said he's born in 78. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Steven Jackson older than us, JLs. We know Clyde. You know, come on, bro. You don't have to be a Knicks fan and know Clyde. The kids don't The kids don't know Clyde. The kids don't know you. Yeah, Who right. You? Exactly. The kids don't know you, bro. The kids don't you know right you. Right now, man. I guarantee you, nobody knows who you are. Yeah, man. I don't even think Duncan know who you are. Yeah, I mean, it, w- it was a cringe-worthy segment at best, man. Cringe-worthy, Jails. Absolutely cringe-worthy, man. Yo, somebody get that game. Somebody so, that. you know, my bottom line is, I think Clyde's comments were, were taken way, it was way overblown. I disagree with Clyde, Jails. You you agree with Clyde. I get your reasoning. But the Steve, Steven Jackson just took it. Way, yeah, way, 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 way overboard. We can't, we can't accept that, bro. We gotta clap back for nah, Clyde. Nah, nah, man. We got nah. Yeah, we gotta clap back for Clyde. It's only right because he, he, he's, he's not gonna do it himself. We, we gotta clap back for Clyde, bro. Yeah, he's gonna be, he's, he's gonna keep professional stuff. We got you. Facts. <laughs> we got you. That's Facts. Nah. nah. Let's go. Um, Will from LI. Will was at the watch party. Will, Will, Will was in there. All right, yo, shout out to Will, yo. Yeah, man. Will was in there. Will, what's up, man? Weigh in on yeah. this. How you feeling? I'm doing good. What's up, y'all? CPJ Ellis. Good, man. How you feeling? Good, man. Well, I had a, um, just to go on the watch side, I had a great time. Um, I loved talking to the other Knicks fans. It was amazing. Um, my girl came, as you remember. Um, she had a great time also. Um, so whenever you guys, you know, the next time you guys do one, if the schedule is lined up, you can just count me as a regular because that was a blast. Yeah, man. It was yo, it was a pleasure meeting you too, Will. Definitely had a definitely had a great time with y'all, man. So um thanks for coming through. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And and we'll definitely keep you guys oh, yeah, posted man, we on the put next some one. Respect on your name, man. Absolutely. <laughs> Even looking man. at the YouTube right now, I was like, man, you just know what you just saw, dog. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, shit. <laughs> yeah, because 'cause I'm sitting down, man. I'm sitting down. You know, you never know. Yeah, man. And then, and then, yeah, then Jay was, I see you as a co- uh, as a uh what's it called? Um, a Kawhi Leonard type, you know, um, over here. I'm sure he can play that good defense too. So respect you. Guys. <laughs> um, Pre- appreciate it, bro. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Now, Jay, you don't look tight. You just play good defense. You just, you just look at the tight. <laughs> um, I mean, I should go down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but um, getting back to the comments, man. Um, first, on the first take, what Clyde said, mm-hmm. I am a hundred percent on Jay Ellis' side. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that LeBron James, everywhere he goes, drama follows. Now you can say that it's because of you know it's LeBron James; he's the greatest. But you know, I felt like legitimately bad for um, uh, Tawan Lute or whatever when he had to take those time off because of the pressure and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, and for the most part. I don't know, man. LeBron just seems like a di- like a diva. I mean, and I don't think Clyde said anything out that way. You can today. It's up to anybody's opinion. If you agree with it, you do. If you don't, you don't. You know, it, it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal one way or another. You know, 
I don't think Skip Bayless said worse stuff than, you know, than that. But you don't see anybody coming on him that hard. Yeah. And then, um, it's, it's ridiculous. And then give it to the Steven Jackson comments. I really had issues with that, man. Yeah. Like, I really was okay. it, it was out of because, line. Because Steven Jackson is always going on about, like, how these young cats just start respecting their elders. Mm-hmm. Like, that whole thing with Jimmy Butler and things. It's just like, so how do you say that? But then you go and disrespect a legend like Clyde. Like, sure. what do you mean nobody knows about Clyde? Like, how many times you go to the games and you see, like, little kids having a Clyde Frazier jersey? Mm-hmm. I can't tell you how many times. You know, and not just New York. Other places, you know, they'll have a, uh, a Clyde Frazier jersey. It's, it's just really hypocritical. And it's just, like, it's, it's the most of the fact why I love what you guys do because you can't get no information from on TV. Everybody's trying to get their clicks and, and get their reaction and do this and do that. I was like, what, what does this man shoot for this much that I got to do with anything? Yeah. Like, for, force, on, force man. entertainment, man. <laughs> for, force entertainment, Will. It's a hot mess, man. Some folks that have just seen the highlights in the YouTube and the Instagram stuff think, oh, my God, he's the next uh, Jordan or LeBron or Tim Duff. He's not on those guys' level in terms of franchise-altering talent, you know. Mm. Um, his, his shot mm. needs a lot of work. His mechanics, his elbow flies way out. Right. Um, I'd be surprised if he shot anything higher than